Hello and welcome along. Today on Dusty Cove, we are going to be cutting field 20 here. We have, uh, yeah, we need to get some hay created. So uh, we're going to be along the cliff edge cutting some grass. And uh, and then we do have as well field uh, 24. So we might then head back that way and do field 24 as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump in. Uh, if we have time, what we will do is we'll go and get the tedder as well. Uh, but at the moment, we're just going to see how we do. So unfold that one. Turn it on and drop it down so that we can create some space for us to drive in. And then we're going to switch to the back one. Do the same. On and down. Because we need to shut this gate. So we maneuver our way in. There we go. Right, let's get the gate shut then. Away we go. And that's got it. Yeah, so we'll get all this cut and uh, and set up and done. And once we've done that, we can then uh, get this all tethered up. And uh, and wind road, and then we're gonna bale it. Uh, I've collected up all the bales off the field uh, next to us, so off field uh, 23. There, they're all gone now. And back at the farm, I need to unload them, so I'll get that done off camera. But yeah, it's uh, it's gone well. It's, we got we got a an entire trailer full of bales off that field. Right. Yeah, we did. We got an entire trailer full of bales. Now, yeah, that's a long way down. We don't want to get too close to the edge with this. I do want to get as much grass as I can. Do not want to go over the edge with the tractor. That would not be good. That'd be a very tragic end to the series on Dusty Coat. this works well with these two not quite as effective as the butterfly mower of course that adds, adds one more mower to it but it does still work well and make sure that we don't lose any due to um, uh, due to crop destruction and uh, And having any uh, any issues there? Right, I'll try and straighten this out a bit. There we go. So yeah, we get this tethered up, and then once that's done, 
we can take it uh, we can get it wind road and bailed as well but I don't think I'm going to quite get as many bales off this field as I'd like that's why we're going to do and do the other one as well chunk on that corner. Okay, we're going to cycle back. Get that. Same here. There's at least, yeah, there's at least one more run up the field. Not two, I think. Uh, at least. We won't get that in a single width, but we will. Okay, and a run there and back. left a small bit. We're going to have to come back and clear that up. Uh, that's fine. for this bit. Right, so turn it off. Well, that's folding up. We'll look around open the gate. Right, and we'll head over to field twenty. 
see, yeah, what was it? Uh, 24. Which is around the other side over here. Yeah, we can't get at it from this side, so. We may have gone the, I oh know the, the entrance is in that corner, we're okay. we go. And I can cut most of the field there without having to uh, without having to close those gates so we'll leave them as they are. Should get around this field fairly quickly as well. This should give us a whole load of hay bales doing this, uh, and quite quite a lot of hay bales, uh, which is going to be useful to us. But we might see if we have more than a trailer full, we'll sell uh, beyond the first trailer. I think, although we have more than a trailer's worth of uh, straw bales, we need straw bales uh, for bedding for the cows and pigs as well as the mixed ration for the cows. Whereas the hay we only really need uh, as feed for the cows. So a single trailer full should do us hopefully quite nicely. Quite a nice easy field to do this with. We're gonna get around it fairly quickly. This T7 I'm impressed with. It's a fantastic mod and it works perfectly. It's exactly the mid-range New Holland that, that I'd want kicking about most places. Yeah, it works an absolute treat. Yeah, I'm really pleased I got it this map. And it is still a little bit odd to me that I managed to do two T7s on it. Um, thankfully we've got the fence to break it up a little bit but yeah he's a little bit weird Ooh, there we go but I don't have an issue with it it's it's um, I mean they are two very very different tractors 
Uh, you only have to see them next to each other to see the difference between the uh, the heavy duty and uh, and the standard wheelbase. Yeah, they are very different tractors. Nice thing about square field, it does yeah, very easy to do it. Especially with this setup here where you're uh, inside oh, the inside bit is uh, is covered by the second mower. I should have gone around the other field this way around. I won't had anything missed in the corners. Tufts I've missed in the corners there. It's a bit weird. And that's, I think, I've missed stuff in most corners. Really? No. Well, we'll just go over them and make sure that we're not really missed grass. That one I definitely have. Now, yeah, it does seem to cover it. That's too tight for us to get. All the way out the corner. Oh well, we got them. And do the same for these. Small patch there. There we go. I'll go grab the tether quick. We'll get this back to the farm and go grab the tether. And this will create a nice amount of hay bales for us. Uh, I'll catch it back at the field once I grabbed it. Right, I've got the tether here. Uh, this is the uh, GF8702. This is from the uh, again from the Coom Pack. I'm hoping I can fold it out in this gateway. Oh, just. There 
There we go. It's quite wide, this. Should create and sort the hay out fairly quickly, I think. It is quite a bit wider than our mower was. Or mower setup was. Should mean that we have a good, yeah, a good amount of hay. I am seriously considering adding seasons into this map. Maybe, uh, maybe see where we are after we've got our crops harvested. And, uh, yeah, I might add them in at that point. When, when it would be a, would then be appropriate for, um, adding them in for, for spring. Uh, I am tempted to go for a, a longer number of days. If I did it on here. So maybe a six day cycle rather than the normal three I have um, simply because to give myself enough time to do everything I want to do but we shall see there is we do own a, the, the Part of the reasons why I've not looked at seasons on here is because we own so many fields to to go start off with. But then, if I've got a six-day cycle, what I'm very aware of is I don't want to be repeti uh, don't want to be um, repetitive of what I do every episode. So we've had a little bit of variety this week. It's been quite good. And that, and I'm looking forward to doing some forestry work uh, in tomorrow's episode. So uh, yeah, we're not going to windrow and bale this up uh, tomorrow. We're going to go and do some forestry uh, for some for for a Friday. Do some forestry on a Friday, and. Uh, and we'll probably do one episode next week. Uh, Windrowing and baling and stacking this up. We have a decent sized windrower to use, so that's all good. And uh, our silage will continue over time. I quite like the idea of doing a sunflower harvest. As a header, I might get a sunflower header. I may not. I may hire it rather than buy it. I think. Uh, but there is a sunflower header I've had as a mod from very early on in the game, and really early on. And uh, I never. I don't think I've ever used it. So uh, thinking of hiring a sunflower header. I think we only have one field of sunflowers. So that will um, hiring is the way to go with that because we will be looking to occasionally use it. Right, we'll fold this up. Yeah, quite nicely out of the field, and we will head back to our cliff edge. Get that tended up as well. There it is. 
Right, so we'll head into here and into the field. And again, unfold this. Clear the gate. Oh, we are going to have to close the gate, so we'll let that unfold. And while that's happening, we'll see if. Whoa. Okay, there we are. Go on and down. And away we go. I'll reverse up and make sure that I get everything on that side. Right, and away we go. So this will only take about three or four runs, I think. Which will work quite well for us. screenshot of that one. Round we go, and round we go again. Yeah, I really, I really like the scenery on this map. It is a gorgeous map. Dave, uh, Dusty Dave outdid himself in this. Six weeks to make this is just amazing. Absolutely incredible. As I did it's telling by the fact that um, you know people want to play it, which is fantastic. Uh, I haven't seen another map in the mod contest. Uh, certainly in the in the best map category, anyway. That's, uh, that's as good as this. Every other map I've come across in there so far has been uh, has has been unfinished. I mean, this is a finished map. It has it does have one bug, but it is very much a finished map and is a stunning finished map. That's the thing. That is just, it's a hell of an achievement, this map. It blows me away when I think that this was built in six weeks. I see some maps that are taking years that, you know, that some people started for 13 and now are, are releasing for 17 because it's taken that long to make it. Yeah, that is just incredible. Absolutely astounding. Right, so. A little bit there, I want to make sure I catch that. We've got one more run, and then that's where we're going to end it. Oh, not quite. We need, we need to get this, and then we'll bring, come back and grab that last little bit. And then once we've got that, then we will end it. 
So we'll probably end up with the lighthouse in the background, which will be absolutely amazing. So we'll lift this here. Right back down the other end of the field. Right, and down again. And we're done. Fold. Oh, that's folding. Oh. There we go. So, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.